Hey cuties and welcome to the Dead Dancer Gaming Channel. My name is Didi and this is the easiest and most efficient way to mod Risk of Rain 2. Step 1. We're going to open our browser and head to thunderstore.io, the main hub for modding Risk of Rain 2. At the top of the page there's a message saying we recommend using the Thunderstore Mod Manager for installing mods, which I also happen to recommend and that's the method we'll be using in this tutorial. Click that link and it will take you to the Overwolf download page. If you don't have Overwolf already, it's a third party add-on that enhances a variety of games. It runs pretty silently as a background application in most cases. We're going to click download to grab the installation files and when they are done we will begin installing Overwolf and the Thunderstore Mod Manager. Alright, on to step 2. Open the mod manager and it will ask you to select a profile. I already have a profile for my Twitch stream here, so for the purposes of this tutorial I'll create a new one like you'll be doing and we'll call it tutorial. Step 3. We're going to begin adding mods. Let's search for something fun to demonstrate. Click the online tab on the left and you'll be presented with every single mod made for Risk of Rain 2. This list is sorted by default with the most recently updated mod at the top which we can change by clicking this drop down and selecting the way we want to list the mods. Let's go with the new survivor mod Enforcer to demonstrate. The coolest thing about this method is that when you click download, it will automatically grab the other mods that you'll need, called dependencies, that your chosen mod needs to run. Once the download is finished, head to the install tab to see it in the list. Make sure the box on the right is checked and then we can click start modded to open Risk of Rain 2 with our new mods installed and ready to go. And that's it, it's as simple as that. A couple of things to note, anytime the base game gets updated from Hopu Games, it will more than likely break most if not all the mods you have installed, so you'll have to wait for the mod developer to push an update in order to play with it again. If a mod has an update you will get a notification the next time you open the mod manager and it will prompt you to install the update for your mod. Secondly, most of these mods are created for free and in the spare time of the people that made them. This means that the mods are likely to be a little buggy at times as they haven't undergone the extensive testing the base game has gone through. So be aware that problems may arise. If you do run into any problems, there is a large Risk of Rain 2 modding community on Discord that will be more than happy to work through any issues you may be having with you. A link to that Discord will be in the description as well as my own where you can join other Risk of Rain 2 players and myself to play some runs with. Thanks for watching this tutorial, if this helped you please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel where there'll be more Risk of Rain 2 content coming in the future. We also play Risk of Rain 2 on stream at twitch.tv slash DJ Deaddancer, usually with the Twitch integration mod on which allows viewers to vote on the items we pick up, spawn helpful Lumerians and drop bit bombs that seriously mess up the runs, including spawning the endgame boss at will. It's pretty crazy. Thanks for watching cuties, I'll see you in the next video.